Welcome back, everyone. This week we're at RJ's uh, by the OCMC with the uh, Off-Road Ontario. Uh, so we're doing the RJ's XE, and uh, that was not a great start. Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, uh, there's a lot of people today, a uh, lot, a lot of racers today. Um, so today I would say I rode really well and absolutely awful at the same time. Probably like the worst I've ridden in ages. Uh, I was getting a little bit frustrated and I kept crashing a lot. So that didn't mean I got a particularly good uh, position. I came 34th out of 57 in class and um, 88th, uh, 89th out of uh, 194 overall. So a um, little disappointed with that. I think it's worse than last year. I did better last year. Um, but this year I was not riding great. <laughs> so, so frustrated with that. The track was absolutely mint, but um, like like last year, actually the same problem. I was just really struggling to pass, and um, I don't blame the people that I'm trying to pass. It's it's a race. It's my own problem, 100% my own skill issue. But you might be seeing a lot of the guy in front <laughs> today because I couldn't get past him no matter how hard I tried until he just let me by much much later on. Um, yeah, so. Coming into RJ's, it'd been like raining. Um, yeah, I, I got absolutely roosted to fuck at this point. So I was like, oh god, I had to clean the camera off, clean my goggles off. I couldn't see anything. Um, pretty, pretty damn roosted. It'd been raining, so there was some uh, moisture on the track, which was actually a blessing because I remember last year being super, super dusty. This year, absolutely no dust. In fact, I, I would say the the, 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 tr the traction was almost perfect. There was just a few like little slick spots which were really slick. Um, so annoyingly, I lost that position art guy and, and now I can't really see out my goggles still perfectly. Oops, almost knocked that guy off the hill. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Uh, yeah, so I had mud all over my goggles. So I'm trying to clean my goggles off at points, but I'm still also trying to ride because I'm like, I've got to catch that guy and I've got to try and make a pass. But, um, I'm not very good at that, and uh, most people were doing it to me, so I'm cutting out big chunks of the, the track because it's just a lot of us in a train um, trying to find an opportunity, and um, yeah, I, I just wasn't able to really make, make the moves that I want to. I need to, I need to, I'm not sure what I need to do, so any advice would be great, actually. <laughs> I think the problem is sometimes I'm just cruising in like third gear, which doesn't give me the power to make a, a move when I see one, or I'm too far back so that whenever a move does occur, like I can't capitalize on it as well as I should. And also having a skill issue, because I'm just kind of shitty at riding, I crash. <laughs> so I think my first lap was, um, it says technically my first lap was my fastest at a 35.23, but I don't think that's actually the full lap. And also, um, like, my second lap was a 35.30, but I think the timing is a little bit different. Maybe we start at slightly different points, but... Oh, I finally made a police back because the guy crashed. Um, I could hear the guy, like, really revving up, so I didn't want to just pull in front in case he slammed into the side of me, because that would be kind of shitty. Um, but now we've got a little bit of clear space, immediately blow a quarter, that, that's me, that's 100% a skill issue on me again. <laughs> and now we're catching up the uh, guy in front again. Um, the trail is absolutely perfect, look look at this trail, it, it is so good. Um, this, so this is a this is a point, right? I sh if I was closer, and following the guy closer in front, I might have been able to also pull the same move and get by um, the fella coming up. Um, yeah, I, I revved, I revved them a lot. Um, I've cut a lot of the revs out. I'm like revving quite often to try and let him know that I want to get by. Uh, I, I even started using my horn after a while. <laughs> Probably get annoyed him. Get he's confused and just like, what the fuck? Who's beeping me? Like, I, I know he's in my class, but I, I think this has been like 15, 16 minutes of me following this guy. Maybe 20 minutes right now, and I'm just trying to make passes. Like, come on, come on. I, I'm not skillful enough. 
and it will be kind of dangerous if I try and make a pass because each time I do I crash and <laughs> maybe I'll crash into you I don't really want to do that but I know that I'm a little quicker through the woods um, yeah bad manners from me but I I'm really getting like desperate and trying to get by I'm a little bit frustrated so coming through here I'm like oh I see an opening so straight into that tree that didn't feel great got a nice little like cut down my face from that um, and then I lose a position as well, of course. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I, maybe if I could do it here, but skill issue again. I also didn't know the track. Um, so I didn't want to like slam it inside of him and almost bloody low side it. Lost another attempt. This is all me. Nothing on this guy in front of me. He's doing his race. It is a race. It's all on me. I don't want to blame him. It's, it's a skill issue. And then I see another gap here. I'm like, I go for it. I go for it. Yeah, I made it past. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? Ah, oh, fuck's sake. And then, uh, yeah, I, I lose the spot back. So he got it back off me by just riding the line more sensibly. I'm just like, oh, I'm just like frustrating myself. And now I'm stuck behind two people. Um, well, I wouldn't say stuck because the guy keeps passing me because I keep crashing. So is it really stuck or am I just really bad? Um, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, a little, little getting more and more frustrated. Um, and I, I, I want to go fast like Sonic, but I can't because I'm not good enough <laughs> to, to make the pass and then keep going. So these were cool little hill climbs. I liked how the, how the second, second and third lap, uh, sorry, and the third and fourth lap, there was just like a pile up all over that. Um, I managed to make it up both times without falling off. Although on the fourth lap, I did get a little squirrely towards the top and I think I ran over someone's bike, but you know, they were parked sideways along and I was full throttle on that. This was really cool. It, it felt really steep and off camera. I mean, it kind of looks steep on GoPro, so you can imagine what it actually was like. Um, but that this was a really cool bit. I like this bit. Um, coming through here, I, I didn't know where to go. So, Off-Road Ontario have been doing like a, a video to show the course, and I didn't watch this far in. So, again, that's all on me. 100% uh, me. Uh, on the second, third, fourth laps, I just took this much earlier, the, the corner. And, and again, like, I shouldn't have been following this guy. Like, uh, I, I'm just fixated on him. I lost so, quite a lot of positions here. I think I think I counted five people, six people go by. So that's mildly frustrating. Um, but I make it past him. Yes, finally made it past him. Um, so on we go. Bit of a uh, bit of road. Be a little bit more sprightly with the throttle. Feels really good. Bike's feeling great. It's running absolutely great apart from the fact that the pipes all dented in and I have like very little uh, <laughs> low end uh, grunt. I remember I started it on the line and the fella next to me he was like whoa what pipe do you have on there? I'm like it's the normal pipe it's stock pipe I just smashed it in that's why it sounds weird. <laughs> so I hope he did alright. He was asking me because um, it was his first XC so I hope he had a good time and enjoyed it um, but he's saying that uh, he didn't know if he had enough fuel and I, I was pretty convinced I'd have enough fuel um, because last time I, I did. Okay, everybody's starting to make it past this uh, this gentleman here, and I make it past here as well. I'm like, oh, here's a good point to make it past. But then, skill issue erupts. I'm like, going through it, it's a little bit slick down this side. It's not too bad, no gophers, but then I'm just terrible, and I crash. And then, to make matters worse, I get the fucking fender stuck around the tree. And in the race, this felt like it took an eternity, and I was super mad that I, I crashed on such a dumb place and then oh no <laughs> oh shit now I've got to try and get past this guy again my nemesis has returned <laughs> so <laughs> more frustrated again because I can't ride for shit I'm an idiot um, he actually lets me by thank him thank you very much that let me like just get on with it and then I'm chasing down um, the gentleman in front I think I saw him at the Terra Nova and I crashed in front of him then so I was like oh it's this guy again I better not crash in front of him because he'll just laugh at me because rightly so because I've been crashing in front of everyone else that I've passed and obviously if I try to make a pass on him I'm gonna probably crash and he'll deserve I deserve to be laughed at so I saw an opportunity here and then oh he rammed into the side of me I hope he's all right I was fine but I needed to make the pass because I was I'd been following for quite a few minutes that I cut out and I was like I have to make a pass and, and, and rev bombs and horns don't work on that fella so you know just had to be a little bit more aggressive so sorry if I caused him to crash but 
I had to get by. So a bit of, bit of free space now to actually let the bike ring out a little bit. Um, I was I was really enjoying this track. The, the, everything was running running super smooth. Uh, Piper side. Oh, and uh, that fella who was um, to the left of me on the uh, grid. Uh, I hope you didn't run out of fuel. I got to the last two corners on the fourth lap, uh, and then I hit my reserve. And I, I I went over. I was just about to hit the whoops, and I ran out of fuel. I was like, no, my bike. I had to turn the fuel. I think I lost a place there, like because it took about 30 seconds for my fuel to come through. I was like, no, I lost another spot. Uh, made me cry a little bit inside, but that's my own fault. <laughs> I, nah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. So it gets a little bit slick down the back. Um, just a bit of mud everywhere, really. So first lap, I was a little bit like stuck behind people. After that, there was no drama. I was just, you know, just riding it out, just losing more spaces on the MX side. I don't know what to do. Uh, I So RJ seems to have some pretty nice jumps. Um, I just haven't done them since a year before, so I don't remember them. Um, and this jump on this lap, obviously this is my first lap, so I just roll everything. But on the fourth lap, I actually managed to make this jump. And this jump I actually managed to make on the fourth jump, fourth lap as well, which I was super, super chuffed about. I was really, really happy with that. That was, I, I think I just went, I didn't go third gear and pin it, because that to me is just terrifying. And I didn't fall off the track here either, which is nice, which I did last year. Um, but I did fourth gear just mid throttle and I was able to just cruise the whole jump and clear it and I was super super proud about that because yeah that, that was that was sweet I think the guy in um, in the space colored t-shirt who just overtook me um, he beat me overall but on the fourth lap I think we were going back and forth I think it was him and um, he absolutely flew past me on the MX side just like you saw and um, down the jewel trails through that little muddy section that I was talking that was a little slippery he absolutely fucking whooped my ass but then I was a little quicker through the woods so he let me by so I really enjoyed that with him because it was cool because um, when he first entered the woods he had a pretty good pace uh, I assume it's this guy whoever it was on my fourth lap he, he entered the woods with a pretty good pace but then got like quite spooked once it tightened up um, so I was able to get by well he let me by because um, I, was, I was right up right up behind him and then when we head to the uh, the wider section, he just fucking let it rip, and it was like it was it was cool. It was cool just to see him like shoot past, and then it felt good to like catch him again and like us go back and forth a little bit. He beat me overall though, um, so I'm pretty sure it was that fella. So just following through on the second lap, there was no drama on the second lap apart from I just got my back wheel stuck over a, a root, which you know where the guy in the first lap crashed exactly that spot. I, I made a pass on someone. Um, Oh, it, uh, no, it didn't make a pass. The the guy in the space t-shirt, he, uh, he he had what looked like a pretty bad off, um, but he was all right. Uh, I stopped. Uh, uh, you'll see in a second. Um, but uh, then I got bloody stuck. And what I thought was a small route, I wasted a ton of energy trying to push my bike over, but it turns out it was super soft. I guess a lot of people have crashed and just dug the mud into like this fine mist so the bike wasn't just going to go forwards so that was uh, like 30 seconds and a load of energy wasted but that was the only drama on the second lap um and then the third lap was an absolute shit show i was riding like a clown i think like if the gopro was out of battery but oh my god i i, I it was frankly embarrassing uh, you could make a compilation of just all my crashes on the third lap there was one time this guy like went well out of his way to let me by and i immediately clipped a fucking uh camber and just ate shit straight away in front of him it was uh, it's just clown show i was riding like an absolute pillock like uh what, what dumb dumb this was my fault again i shouldn't have been following this guy so close i tried a wheelie couldn't get out and i was like oh and then i saw him going forwards so i just sat on the back and and uh, tried to wheelie through the hole so i don't get stuck like him but it was a little annoying <laughs> Um, that that's all me again. Skill issue. Maybe I should have committed. Maybe I should have read the line better. Uh, it's all on me. Don't know what's happening here. The guy dropped his goggles. Dropped his goggles. <laughs> um, yeah. But so like my footage isn't going to have much drama from now, thankfully. But it's a little bit of a shame. None of the third lap was captured. And then to add to the drama of the third lap. Um, there was this one of the mud bits towards the end of the lap 
um, got pretty badly rutted out and I saw a bike going through it like he was just wide open and he made it through and I was like oh okay fine and um, I couldn't really tell that there was a uh, fender deep hole that he just powered through and pushed his bike through because uh, like, he was just coming out when I got there so I went through oh one, one second but going down here each lap I got faster and faster eventually I was uh, third gear down here and then there's like a little route that just there and I, I, I was just having a great time third to fourth gear just down there I wouldn't say wide open but I don't think I've ever ridden a bike so fast and it felt really cool but anyway back to the story about the um, fender deep hole going through that standing up um, and I was like yeah 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 getting through and then my front just drops into the hole stops the bike immediately I proceed to go flying forwards hit like doing basically a handstand over the front I think my front of my helmet my GoPro kissed the fender and then I fell back and I was like oh my god my arms hurt so bad after that like just felt like I just done an entire like shoulder press of my own t my entire body weight whilst like jumping into it so that was suboptimal um, I lost like I would say two minutes, three minutes, because I was completely stuck. So after that, I had to try and like, pull the bike out of the mud. I'm trying to yank it to the side, and all these people are overtaking me. I must have lost like 10 places, probably. Well, that's what it felt like anyway. I lost like 10, 10 positions, people passing me. And then one of the marshals took pity and came over and helped me out of the mud. So thank you very much to him. I think I could have got out eventually, but because he came over and helped me, it only I only lost like two or three minutes rather than losing like... 10 minutes and being absolutely exhausted from trying to pull the mud out and they also let me do a fourth lap as afterwards and the fourth lap had no drama i just just rode rode um without trying to crash but by that point i was starting to get a little bit tired and um i just dropped the bike a couple of times no nothing stupid but on other notes of things that i i moved my rear brake up and that let me use the rear brake really good ah so you can see I, i've caught this guy again um you can see how like i, I made pro like made some pretty good pace on him in the woods, um, but on the on the um, on the MX side, this guy fucking just just destroys me. <laughs> like no no competition. But through the woods, I, I can make some pretty good ground on him, and uh, he does let me by. Um, so that that that's cool. Uh, he doesn't let me by this lap. He just made a little bit of gap on me, and then I find him like this. So maybe this is what spooked. I think this is what may have spooked him out. Yeah, but he's fine. Thank God. Because he's pretty far from his bike, so uh, maybe he did like a dramatic roll or a fly or a Superman. But <laughs> yeah, so just going along here. And I didn't know the ribbon. I did. I noticed the ribbon was blown out. And I was like, oh, shit. And then I, I turned in stupidly. And then... What the yeah. I heard the bike, so I didn't want to like turn in so hard, sharp, and then look, I'm just bloody stuck. And I'm just like, hey, have positions, and fucking threw so many away. You don't need to see me faff around and pull the bike and get mad for like 30 seconds. <laughs> that was the drama for my second lap. I'm swearing at myself for being a retard. Like, can't help it. I'm just completely stupid. But at least I didn't do the, the wide line on there and lose more places. So. I felt like today overall, um, with the changes I made to my rear brake, that helped me be able to stop. And then I was talking to Fox um, in the morning before the race, and he's a much superior rider, far, far superior to me. And he was saying basically he never uses his rear brake, uh, or rarely uses his rear brake, and he is almost entirely front brake uh, whilst racing. I'm like, oh, I, I never really, I never really realised that. And he's like, yeah, so he only ever uses the rear brake to do an emergency like oh shit i fucked up kind of turn so all of his main turning is committed to by just using the front brake so perhaps that's a technique i need to go practice where i'm like racing into corners and just practicing braking really hard and just turning only using the front brakes and then um if i've gone in too hard i need to learn how to do like the 90 degree pivot swivel skid slide skid with the uh <laughs> with the rear so I guess that's something to practice um, it's kind of scary to practice in the race I managed to do it a couple of times but it was more luck and unplanned I, I didn't really know what was going on here and I didn't really want to push I just saw a couple of people stuck on this and they eventually got off off the hill um, 
they must have been messing with each other and messed up. But yeah, I just took this line down the, the hill each time, and it was so much, so much easier. Just go straight down rather than try to S down. Um, so one, I think the third lap I came back through here, there was like a bunch of people stuck off the side, so I guess they messed up and went wide, and what I didn't want to be doing. <laughs> so coming through here, the guy I'm following right now, um, he had a pretty good pace. Um, I couldn't overtake him naturally. Um, or at least I don't think I could. I, I, I would catch him sometimes. Oh, this was fun. So I felt like I just jumped up that whole whole thing, jumping over all the roots and rocks. So that, that was cool. And then after a while, I'd been following him for like three or five minutes. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but then he just waved me by. So I guess maybe he, got, he needed a break and um, he didn't want me pressuring him anymore. So thanks to him. Yeah, so I, I felt really good in some places about today. I rode, I felt like I was riding the best I've ever ridden. And then other things, I felt like I was an absolute clown who doesn't understand motorcycles in any way, shape or form. And um, shouldn't be on a racetrack because I kept crashing so much. <laughs> so, you know, it was a bit of like a polar opposites of feeling. It was a roller coaster of emotion riding this, uh, riding this track. Um, and... A little disappointed I didn't beat my last year's uh, performance, but perhaps it's because I didn't have Jesse here this year to like egg me on and like make me go ride a little better and just be like, just catch him, just beat him. So hopefully he'll be back soon. He's just getting some repairs done to his bike. So fingers crossed I can get get like my, my personal competition back. <laughs> so, it is motivating when you're racing against friends. And you know that your friend is slightly ahead, so you're like, I gotta, I gotta ride good. I gotta ride gooder to beat him. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully he'll be back soon. Uh, yeah, so this, the trail was absolutely been so good. Um, I think it's basically the same as last year, but in reverse. Um, and just some changes to the MX side. The, we did more of the MX track than I've done before. I feel like I've done before. Like, I don't really remember too much of it from last year. Hopefully in future I'll be able to actually just get down and do some practice days because that would make a, I think that would make a huge difference. I, I do feel like I'm getting better on the MX corners but I can't do the jumps and, and by getting better I just mean I'm not like you know 90 degrees from the ground going around corners. I can, act, I can lean it over a little bit but still a bit of a joke really. <laughs> so yeah couple of weeks and then cop grades, um, which is a new track that I've never done before. So quite excited about that. So you can see, second lap, jump a little further. Third lap, I jumped almost the whole thing and I landed pretty hard and didn't feel good. And then the fourth lap, I made it. So yeah, 37th, I got worse. <laughs> uh, I ended up, what was it, what did I end up? 34th overall. Um, yeah, so I think that'll do for this week. See ya.